Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Jamie. This reading may resonate if you're a Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. I say may, because it's not going to resonate for all of you, and that's okay. Discard any readings that are not for you. Make sure to check out the next one. Maybe it is. Remember that there is no gender. So if I pull a king or a queen, I could be talking about anyone. It's all about the personality that I'm describing. For anyone interested in a private personal reading, the information will be in the description below. I am doing a set deal from now through the holidays. So definitely check that out. So we're just going to take whatever comes out for the situation. We'll clarify everything with the tarot and we'll get some advice in the end. Shuffling, that was interesting. <laughs> okay, let's see what flipped out here. So we have spiritual hater hates on your spirituality, light, magic, or power, and fishing for comments. We have White Stag, Protector, and Giraffe, Visionary. The end of a tough cycle approaches Full Moon in Capricorn, and the answers you need are coming Full Moon in Gemini. We have Very Soon, Feast of Gratitude. I savor the sweet moments of life. I taste the beauty of my days, and my stomach is full of gratitude for every moment. We have trust. The robin trusts her wings, not the branch she sits on. And extrovert. <clears throat> Outgoing, sociable, openly expressive, prefers the outside world to the inner world of subjective experience. So... <clears throat> So I feel like a lot of you are in a, a situation here and it seems like there's a person that you have to deal with. And I feel like they're very confrontational. You get what I'm saying with the fishing for comments? Like I feel like they just say little things. They like do little things. This is a person who really likes attention. You know, they come off as like outgoing and sociable, but they're really not. You know, I, I feel like internally like i feel like they are they do want other people's like approval and attention though you know it's not like they're just like they're not just an extrovert it's like this is their lifestyle they need other people's validation to feel like they really even exist i think you know and i feel like you on the other hand are really a different type of person i feel like you are in a position in life where you're really grateful for the things that you have you're also quite intuitive you can feel that there's a problem between you and this person because i feel like they don't really say anything they like nitpick you know what i mean they like they, they come at you in a weird way and i feel like what it is is that like you're viewed in the light that they want to be and you can feel that intuitively it's like this person wants to be seen as this like visionary you know someone who kind of like has it all together you know and is like happy but it's all like superficial and that's not who you are 
you know, I feel like you're not like an extrovert at all. I feel like you're not even the type of person that really is like super sociable or something. Uh, it seems to me that like, there's a situation coming at you here. If this hasn't already happened, it's coming at you here and you don't really need to worry about it. Like you, one is you're protected here. We have this white stag, the protector card. And there's like this feast of gratitude card here <laughs> with this very soon. So it's like something that you thought of yourself or created by yourself, <clears throat> I feel like is in this really fruitful period. And there's somebody really hating on you because you're really like in this good energy moving into better things or something here, you know? I feel like here, it's like you're ending something, right? Because the end of a tough cycle approaches and somebody's not happy about this. I don't feel like this is a relationship though. Not like a romantic one. I feel like this is like some type of friend that's a hater or a coworker that's a hater, a boss who's a hater, something like this. You know, it's like someone's not happy for you with the changes that you're making. Um, and you may recognize that the reason that this person is not where you are is because they are an ungrateful motherfucker. <laughs> you know, like, like they have it all, but they're not grateful for that or they've had it all and they're just not grateful for it. There's something here where I feel like you're just really different than someone around you and they can't stand someone like you because you receive positive attention without all the superficial charm and going out of your way to get it. It's just people like you for who you are. Um, <clears throat> but let's uh, clarify everything with the two this energy for cancer please <laughs> this was the same energy that came out yesterday too with the transform read so again something big in, is happening in Scorpio season in your life cancer and uh, <clears throat> Again, this is, you know, something is ending here, this, this cycle of something maybe that was like repetitive or just tough due to the energies that you're dealing with, you know, not even like a, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, I don't feel like you're in like a tough situation. You're just dealing with a person who is confrontational, you know, like, uh, The Nine of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Two of Swords, the Three of Cups. I mean, the tr I feel like intuitively you feel like this person's miserable. The reason that they're miserable is because they don't know how to appreciate things when they have them in life. You know, like they don't know how to appreciate people. They don't know how to appreciate things. And so I feel like, you know, you, you see this person as, I, I, again, I'm going to use the word confrontational. The, the difference here though, is I feel like you may be someone who doesn't enable the behavior. Like you're not someone who strokes this person's ego. You don't care about their social image. You know, there's like something with you where you just don't, you know, <laughs> You don't do what other people tend to do with this person. And I feel like it does mess with their ego. <clears throat> I feel like you're very like self-oriented. What they don't like about you is that you're like them, but in a positive light. You get what I mean? Like there's a different, like, I feel like you're so, you really worry about yourself and where you're headed in life and like filling your own cups, but it's like in this very positive way versus a person who is really concerned with how other people view them and like trying to get their cups filled by others and like you know i just feel like they're just two really opposite energies here 
And I feel like to you, you don't feel any type of way because you have showed this person absolute love and you feel like you don't even need to stress this. I, I feel like that's kind of the situation here too, is like, that's an even bigger problem with this person is like, I feel like they're going to come at you in this approach where they're like either trying to get you to say something or they're just saying little things to maybe they're even asking you questions like you know say that this is like you telling somebody that like you know you, you just don't deal with them anymore or something you know and they're like asking you all kinds of questions and they're really confrontational about it and you meet them with love and gratitude um how do i explain this you know it'd be like i sign up for bowling and at first I think bowling is going to be really fun I kind of stick with it for a little bit but somebody that I bowl with is just like super confrontational and it makes it so that bowling isn't even fun anymore and so now I'm spending my time and energy trying to bowl and I hate it because this person exists and then when I want to leave this is the one person that starts attacking me asking me why I'm leaving and you know like what my problem is and the truth is like there's no there is, if you were to meet this person with the same confrontation that they are, it just wouldn't get you anywhere. So I feel like instead it's like really explaining to a person that like, you know, it doesn't mean anything like, I, you know, I'm just not really finding a lot of interest in bowling anymore. You know, I feel like it's not for me. It just doesn't, it's not about anybody here. It's nothing personal. I just don't really want to bowl anymore. You know, I'm about to try something new and, you know, go find what is for me. And, you know, that they're such a negative person, they don't know how to even react to that type of response. You know, I feel like you really always throw this person off. That's what it is. Um, Because there really is something that you're, like, leaving behind here or, like, uh, to start something new, though, you know? So I'm, I'm feeling like, it, you know, this is, like, a friend group and there's, like, just, or, like, a job a community that you're in something that you're a part of where you just it doesn't it doesn't actually match you you know what I mean <laughs> I don't know it's like these people just like they're not where you are they don't like you guys are not on the same wave at all the three of pentacles yeah, a lot of you, this is definitely maybe a work situation. The Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, the Two of Cups, the Eight of Swords. So what you need to be aware of and look out for with this situation is like, I don't know, there is something around like... <clears throat> someone maybe being able to now show you i think there's something kind of ironic here because it's it's almost like you feel unappreciated in a group because this is the three of cups so again this is like a social group you know uh, you feel like unappreciated or like unseen for something here and i feel like you've put in a lot of effort and you feel like it's time to move on because it's just not bearing any fruit so you're just trying to distance yourself you're making this choice out of you know self-respect or self-love and there's people trying to kind of like, I feel like, do something about it here. You know, it's like someone's trying to stop you. They, this could, especially if this is a job, I would be aware of someone trying to like play games if you put in two weeks or something. Or if this is like a community, it's like all of a sudden they start talking to you about how much they appreciate you, you know. Uh, but like when it's too late and you've already left and you don't want anything to do with them anymore, you know. It's like there's something where like... I don't know. I think you're kind of looking at some people like maybe they're like legitimately like mentally ill. Or there's one specific person. Let's keep it real. There's a specific person in a group of people that I feel like you have like this like um, compassion for, but like you don't fuck with them. <laughs> you know, it's not there's there's something here where like you again, I feel like there's some compassion for some people that around you here, but like you don't mess with them. Like you feel like they're stubborn. They're stuck in their ways. And if you were to keep dealing with these people, you would be stuck too. And I feel like, you know, there is some weirdness here where, like, you know, someone is coming at you to try to get you to stay in some type of situation. Like, they feel some type of way that you would choose to stop doing something that's actually, like, a burden or a hassle for you. So what's the advice here? 
the Emperor, Aries energy, the Knight of Swords, the Page of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles. You're like saying, do your thing here. I feel like you've already made this decision anyway, you know, but it's like stick to your plan here with the Emperor. It's like something bigger is happening here. It's about to happen kind of. I don't know where there's some new opportunity coming at you here or something, especially if this is work related. Like there's going to be like a some type of message coming in or something, you know, that's especially like financially related or something if it's work, but there's like new opportunity coming in. There's also something here that I really like about your energy with this death card in the beginning because I was like kind of wondering what this energy is about is I feel like there's kind of like this acceptance to ending things now in your life like you're in this phase where you can accept endings you know you can detach from situations and I feel like you just don't get all caught up in things anymore if something's not working out for you, you just you know clearly state the ace of swords right clearly communicate that it's just not working out and you know that and like kind of just leave with respect and uh when you do this you know better things come along it's like instead of choosing to feel like stuck in a situation or like you know deal with too many stressors um just kind of pulling back your energy and choosing to separate yourself from people that would overwhelm or overburden you and taking new opportunity as it comes and like this is really important when it comes to manifestation you can't stay stuck in something that is not giving you what you're looking for right it'd be like i, I want to make a million dollars and then sitting on the couch that's pretty unrealistic the universe is gonna laugh in your face like <laughs> so you know i feel like you you feel it in your soul that it's time to move on from a group or a job or a situation here so that you can progress further and that there's some stagnancy here due to the fact that you're dealing with something that isn't compatible with your lifestyle anymore and it's just that simple and the advice really is to take control of your life and, and, you know, take on these new opportunities. Don't waste any time. All right, bye.